Hi, this is Oliver Lucanis, Conservation Ambassador for Fluval Aquatics. Today I want to have a look at piranhas and show you some species in their natural habitat. I made a longer video available on my channel if some of you want to see more than 20 of the 42 different piranha species. The fish that we all know and that many of you have kept is the red belly piranha. These are actually not predators in nature, but more like carry-on feeders that dispose of dead fish and other animals and will attack the injured but rarely hunt live fish. This genus has three species. The biggest is Pygocentris piraya, which is also the heaviest piranha. In the aquarium, these fish can be quite cannibalistic when they are very small, but get along quite well when they get bigger. So you should always try to start a group of them when they are already 3 inches in size and keep 8 or more to disperse their aggression. Keep in mind that a lot of these fish come from fast moving water and they are not small, so they need about 40 to 65 gallons of water to keep individuals as adults. For keeping a group long term, other than the red bellies, you will need at least a 6 foot tank and a lot of current with a lot of hiding spaces. So Sara actually does mean saw, but it does not refer to the teeth of Sarasalmus. It refers to the keel on the bottom of the fish, where scales have fused together to form this hard serrated structure. That is likely to make it more difficult for other fish to eat them. You can see the same keel and serrations in the relatives of the piranhas, like the silver dollars and many of the pakus. In nature, they smell when something is dead, and they appear from nowhere to feed on the carcass. You can see that lots of small tetras like bloodfin tetras and astyanax are in on this as well and the piranhas may bite them or each other by mistake but they prefer this dead caiman to live fish. The biggest Cerasalmus are Cerasalmus manueli and the black piranha Cerasalmus rhombius. The black piranha is also very common in the hobby and they do get the dark black coloration eventually but like most piranhas the young fish are just silver with black spots. Sarasalmus, for the most part, don't get along at all. You can only keep one per aquarium, and usually not with any other fish. In nature, they are mostly solitary, and you will see groups of most species only when they are coming in to feed. Most of the time, they will try to bite fins off the other fish, or eat the occasional smaller fish. Remember that these fish can really hurt you. The fleshy lips hide most of the large serrated teeth. Always keep a piece of plastic screening to separate the fish from your hand when working in the tank. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed seeing the piranhas in nature. Make sure to subscribe to the Fluval Aquatics channel and my channel. Stay safe and see you next month.